All right, guys. Boom. I'm Brad with Tactical Development. We are showing you the micro wing today. This is the wing up front here. We'll get you some better angles, but it is a recoil mitigation device, a gas pedal, a pro ledge. It is the one in the same. But what this is adding to what is not on the market is it is nearly flat with your gun when you holster. So if you're going to conceal, you can holster your gun, it'll fold flat, you can pull it out, it'll automatically deploy. And we'll show you that later. We're gonna get this put on a coyote gun so you can see everything it pops a little more than black on black. Um, but we wanted to give you some details up front first. So this is the micro wing released by Antimatter and Tactical Development. They've, we've kind of, kind of partnered together to bring this to you guys. Since I had a lot of knowledge on the 365, and X macro and the TLR seven subs with the pro ledge. And then they release, they have the X 300 version here for full size guns. Boom. Um, so this will come in three flavors, all of flavors that the TLR seven sub comes in the 1913, the Glock and the SIG. Um, I'll just let you know, SIG version does not mean it fits on any SIG. Same with the light, the SIG version means it fits on the SIG proprietary rail that's on the 365 and the 365 XL, not the X macro. The X macro will take the 1913. We get that issue a lot. Just wanna clear that up. So that is the micro wing, boom. So micro, just to differentiate the difference between the full size X300 wing and the subcompact, um, wing micro wing so there we are that's the micro wing um, so what it does is it's controlling your recoil we, we've mentioned that but i want to show you so by placing your support hand um, here a lot of a lot of gas pedals in the competitive world they're back here and so you're you're you don't have the leverage you, you would want to better control recoil because you're way back here but they're also um custom loading their ammo so they're not getting recoil and they're custom tuning everything. So not really the same. And that's why this is more of a everyday um, gas pedal per se is because it's further forward. Uh, you can control more recoil due to leverage. It's further, further away from the point of rotation. And then it gives you a larger surface to really hold on to that ledge and hold on to the front end of the gun while it recoils. Um, so it's not removing recoil, but it is helping you control it by stiffening your thumb, not pointing it down, just stiffening your thumb and keeping it stiff during fire. Um, we have noticed that you are, you are able to shoot most guns with this and keep that dot in the glass at all times and never lose the, the dot. Um, so that's a great advantage. And then with, the, with its ability to just self-fold down, um, this one's on, a, on uh, this is the uh, prototype of the SIG version. This will come out later. Um, but basically I have a holster that works with that right now. And so you just, you're able to just holster and unholster and it self deploys with its spring loaded mechanism. Fancy, it's amazing, it's wonderful. Uh, worked with antimatter on that for all of the, uh, the, the details on it. We'll link over to their site and to their launch video. They have a much bigger team for recording videos and stuff. I just wanted to give you guys uh, a look. We're gonna try to launch this at the same time. This, this video is gonna be on our website too. We're gonna sell these. And uh, yes, this is the Glock version. Again, make sure you're getting the Glock 7 sub if you have a Glock and the Glock micro wing. Um, same, same deal all around, guys. Um, as far as fitment, 
which guns it will fit, we will link the description in the description and on the product page is where you're, you'll find the most up-to-date information. Check out the product page. There will be a, a link to an external spreadsheet of compatible guns for the X300 version for the TLR7 sub version and some of that we've discovered that it's a very close fit and maybe you just need to like shave off a little bit on your frame, things like that. And we will come out with, with more and that Excel spreadsheet will just grow as we find compatibility with more guns as we don't own every gun. Um, but it's safe to say any of the ones you see in the video today, it will fit on the staccatos, at least Here's a, here's a good rule of thumb. If you're going to reach out and ask, will it fit on something, check the spreadsheet. If it's not on the spreadsheet, think, will the light fit on there? If you're saying, will this fit on the X in the, the X, uh, XC? It will most likely fit on here, but then your light is tiny and it's way down here. So does the light even work on that gun? So that's where you'll have the X300 version. So that's where we're at on fitment for holsters. Holsters are gonna be a different ball game. Um, right now I'm saying get the wing, test the holster you already have because some of them will just work. It's hard to say with the Kydex, um, but we will have a, a, long, a list of compatible holsters. Anything pro ledge that you've gotten from us um, I believe this is the, anything pro ledge so that supports our pro ledge will also will also work because that pro ledge is at the same spot as the micro wing um, but holsters because it does get very thin there is a large it's hard to like show it closed there is a large chance that it will just fit the holster you have, but it may be too tight and your holster may not be able to loosen the retention enough um, to fully work. So take that with a grain of salt. It's just kind of maybe better to just, if, you, if, you're, if you're seriously interested, pick one up, try what you've got, and if not, check the compatibility um, on the product description. Uh, I guess I'll just ramble a little bit. This was really fun. Um, many of you may have seen our pro ledge. This will still be in, in development or sorry, still be available. Uh, we still find it to be a very applicable solution, uh, much more budget friendly than, than this. This is a prototype. That's why you see a bunch of marks all over it. Um, we, they are anodized. This one's uh, Cerakoted and so it's wearing off. Usability questions you may have are, how do you rack the slide if you're not the type of person that wants to rack it off the optic in the back and you want, you typically pinch the front, do you have to avoid the wing? So um, in most cases, you don't really need to think about it. You can just rack it however you were gonna because the wing will, will either try to do this at a way that shows it towards you. So either you're going to grab it and it's gonna fold the wing when you pull or you're just gonna grab it and pull. But either way, whether it, it folds when you rack it, it's not a big deal, or if it doesn't when you rack it. Or you could just rack it from the back if you feel secure about your optic. So that's one of the, one of the small usability things, not a big deal. I tend to, it's like I'm not in a good angle here. I tend to just grab the whole thing. I've been carrying this one that's, um, for, I want to say like four months now. Um, and then the other one is, how do you activate your light with, with your offhand? Because now your light activation is down here, underneath the wing. So you've got a few ways you can do that. You can kick that up, get your thumb around it. You can shoot, 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 boom. You can use your pointer finger on your trigger finger, sorry, you can use your trigger finger over here. Boom, boom, boom. But yes, it is sort of a, a slight hindrance on activating the light with your offhand. But nothing that's too crazy, you can activate it, boom. And a lot of times, 
you're activating the light in, in realistic situations. You're not just coming out and pointing your light at something that you don't know if it's a threat or not. You should be, you should be bouncing that light off the ceiling if it's in your house or off the floor if it's in your house. And so you can be using your trigger finger for those uh, those moments and then once you've once you've identified the the person as a threat you can engage but never are you just going to be clearing your house pointing it at your child because you heard a noise this is all brad's philosophy stuff i've learned from taking night courses um, you don't really and that's where there there's a huge polarity of people that say weapon mounted guns Weapon mounted guns, weapon mounted lights are not um, practical. Sure, you should have an off body, but you should also never be just turning your light on and, and flagging every person that, that you see. Um, so bouncing it off ceilings or floor until you identify the threat is kind of the way to go. And that you're not really having an issue because you're not, your finger's not on the trigger, your finger's on the light. Maybe you gotta bounce it off there and then you assess the threat and you engage in. So yes, there is a small um, usability on offhand light activation. Very minor, a little bit, little bit of practice, you'll get used to it. But in realistic, you don't, Typically have your thumb on the on the light while you're flagging someone or yeah. Um, and then what else do we talk about for usability? Um, yeah, no, it's been it's been great so far. It's all aluminum. It does have a optional um, rubberized texture pad here, um, and that serves as two folds in my opinion. One, it gives you a non-cold surface because it's rubberized. So if your gun is cold or hot, you have that rubber layer in between. And then if you have a fancy slide and you don't want it to rip it up, aluminum on metal will leave little marks when it's in your holster, in your drawing. But having that little rubber layer there is going to keep it from just getting ripped up. And again... You should not care about scratches on your gun. Um, it's, 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 it's a tool, it's something you use for defense, for protection. Um, but I get there are a lot of fancy guns that you really don't wanna use, you don't wanna scratch up. And so that's kinda why that is a, an optional, in the package, an optional thing you can add and put on. I prefer it 100%. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, we don't monetize. We're not really YouTubers. Um, this is more of a, hey, let's let you know what we're making and share it with people. We're all word of mouth. Uh, trying to pay for marketing in this, in, this, in this market doesn't really work. So we appreciate it if you like and share the video.